Hey everyone, how y'all doing today and welcome back to another meta guide. So we have all three leagues returning uh, and it's going to be the great Ultra and Master League. Let me know in the comments down below which one you are going to be playing. Uh, so I'm definitely doing another guide. I already did the meta guides for each league. I'm definitely doing another one in the Great League. I may do another one in the Ultra League, not the Master League. Um, but... Yeah, uh, you may have already seen uh, a video similar to this, obviously, because I already did a guide on it, as I said. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think um, of the uh, Great League. But let's go ahead and dive right into it. So for the S rank, we got that Cloud Sire, the best Pokemon in the meta. It's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane how great this Pokemon is. Um, I mean, it makes sense. Like, it makes sense. It technically was buffed thanks to Poison Sting, but I don't think that's what made it really good. I just think it was a change in the meta, but it's just so good. The Pokemon is so fantastic. It's so bulky, you know. Then we have Cobbink. Cobbink, mm, maybe a little bit too high. Um, it, it's really good. It's just... There's a lot of things that do well against it that you'll see where Cobbink may not be able to find its place in the meta. It's still up here because it, it's still a good Pokemon, but, um... Yeah, just something to keep in mind. Uh, don't see it as, as often as I initially expected. And then, oh, the Gator, yeah. <laughs> the regular one or the Shadow one, both are really good. As you know, I mean, you, you know how good this one is. Uh, but it is recommended to have Ice Beam over Crunch this season, whereas previous seasons I was actually running Crunch. Uh, now I'm running Ice Beam. Uh, and then Gastrodon. Gastrodon, the Mud Boy of choice, and uh, it's all over the place. Even in the Play Pokemon circuit, the Mud Slap is so strong. Uh, it does get walled by Flyers. Uh, obviously, it doesn't want to see Grass types, so it does have weaknesses, but it still is obviously really powerful. Um, and then we have Dunsbus. Dunsbus is a great rollout user. I love using this. Uh, or, yeah, I just love using this Pokemon now. Uh, the damage is insane. does well against Flying types, Ground types, right? It has play against the Cloud Sire. Even though Cloud Sire is so bulky, it could take... You need three drill runs to KO, right? Um, so, yeah, but Dunsbus just really, really strong. And then we have Mandibuzz. So Mandibuzz, probably the best flying type this meta. I know it, it kind of competes with Jump Bluff, but I think Mandibuzz probably holds an edge on flying types. And then we have Pango. We have a couple fighters, Pango and Machamp. Both of them uh, are the fighting type Pokemon that you're going to basically see. I mean, I think I battled like one Annihilate. I think I saw one or two Polyrath. But those are very rare, you know. Um, but those two fighting types definitely are the two of choice. And of course, Machamp, the Karate Chop, is Legacy, and so is Stone Edge. Uh, and then Clefable, one of the best fairy types. How fast it gets to Swift is absolutely unreal. Uh, moving on to the A rank, we have Bashudan. Now, I actually haven't seen Bashudan as much as I thought I would. Well, I guess I didn't think I would see it like a whole lot. But I thought I would see it more, so I still thought I would see the Bashudan Wigglytuff Shadow Victor Bell team. I haven't really been seeing that. I think I battled it once um, this season so far. Kind of surprising to me. Yes, SmackDown was nerfed, but the thing is, the Bashudan is wall in a Pokemon. It's wall in a Pokemon regardless of that slight nerf, you know what I'm saying? So um, it does affect it, but I still, you know, I, I think there's just so many Pokemon that just do so well that are so popular against Bashudan. I feel like that's why Bashudan has fallen uh, a little bit out of the meta. Yeah, you still see it, but not as much. And then we have Mal Malamar is fantastic with Psywave. See this one all the time. Then we have Quagsire. Quagsire you see here and there. Um, definitely, definitely not as common now as Gastrodon, but still not a bad one. Azumel is quite often all over the place. Um, so Azumel probably deserves to be in the S rank. I probably should have should have switched this around with Clefable. Um, but yeah, Azumel really, really bulky Pokemon, really strong Pokemon. Nothing was nerfed on it, so it's just as good. Uh, and then we have Toxapex. Toxapex is another really good one. Just has to avoid the Mudslap uses like Mauwak. Obviously, Mudslap. Uh, Malwak, I have seen quite often. Unfortunately, I don't have a Shadow one. What do I do, guys? I guess I wait for, um, it to be released in Rockets again, or Raids, or something for the Shadow Cubone. I mean, there's nothing else I can do. I don't have one, you know, unfortunately. I had them in the past, but they allowed you to evolve into a Lolan Malwak at, at one point, and I guess I evolved all of mine. Uh, moving on to the B rank, we do have the Shadow Jump Pluff. I love using this. Uh, you can use the regular one. If you're going with the regular one, I actually do like Acrobatics. But if you're going with the Shadow one, I like Aerial Ace just because the pacing is so much faster to get to Aerial Ace. And the Shadow damage helps it a lot. Licka Licky, another rollout user. We don't see this as often as Dunsparce or, or as much as I expected that we would. Uh, I see it more so in the Ultra League, actually. But yeah, not, I mean, not a bad one. Uh, though, but Dunsparce definitely, definitely wins as rollout users. 
uh, in my opinion. And then we have Drapion or Shadow Drapion, a really, really good pick. Of course, the Poison Sting was buffed, but it gets to the moves like just as fast, as fast as it ever did. Registeel, okay. So Registeel is still a good Pokemon. Um, I mean, yeah, the Zap Cannon nerf does affect it, so you don't see it as much. Certainly not this season. And again, Steels, they could still do well. But there's a lot of strong answers to Steel types this season. For example, Mudslap, like Gastrodon, or Cloudsire, or even Dunsbus, uh, because of the Drill Run. Fighting types like Pinguo and Machamp. But Registeel is still not bad, even with... Um, now it has a 33% chance uh, to debuff with Zap Cannon. Then we have Gallade. Ah, uh, Gallade probably... Could have been a little bit lower on the list to be honest, but I put it in the B ranking because it does get to the moves really fast. Diggsby probably deserves a little bit of a buff um, to the, like the A rank because Diggsby you definitely want quick attack because Mudshot was nerfed, but uh, it, it gets to the moves so fast. It's just such a good Pokemon. And then Wigglytuff as the best charm user gets to the Swift in six charms now, and then it also has Icy one, which is really strong. Moving on to the other options, we have Machoke. Okay. Not really going to see it. Um, I mean, if anyone's using a fighting type, it's going to be Pangol or Machamp. Then we have Aurorus. We have a mu another Mud Slap user, Golurk or Shadow Golurk. And then we have Regirock. Uh, Regirock is, is a really good Pokemon, in my opinion. I do like um, how fast it gets to the Stone Edge, right? Alolan Sand Slash. Alolan Sand Slash. Uh, really good. A couple of these like, I could have adjusted. Like I could have moved this to the B rank, for example. And then we have Quillfish. Uh, does get to the, the moves really fast. And then the Poison Sting buff helps it. Lolan Mawak. I don't... Like the thing about a Lolan Mawak is yes, it was buffed. Uh, Bone, Bone Club was buffed. And so was Fire Spin. And it does help it obviously a lot. But um, it's still not like super meta. Mainly because there's, there's so many water types. You know, there's so many things that beat a Lolan Mawak. I battled this Pokemon a decent amount of times this season. And I always have, like, at least two Pokemon and the team that just destroy it, it seems like. Or at least do well against it, right? Whether it be Gastrodon or Feraligator. Um, so, it, it, it could work in the right situations. It's not a bad Pokemon. Uh, and then we have Steelix. Steelix, okay. Steelix, yeah. Uh, Breaking Swipe was nerfed. You don't have to worry about that anymore. You just go Dragon Tail, Psychic Fangs, Crunch. Then we have Whimsicott. And we have Miltank as another rollout user, Galarian Weezing, and then Guzzlord. So Guzzlord, I do like Guzzlord. Guzzlord has, uh, well, Brutal Swing was buffed. So Brutal Swing going to be, obviously, the move you want over Crunch. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, PV Pokey actually recommending Sludge Bomb. So that's going to give you some coverage against fairies, although you're still not going to appreciate fairy types in general anyway because you're double weak to them. Uh, but at least it gives you some coverage. You don't really need Dragon Claw. We're going to go ahead and move on to the solid team options. So we have some teams here. We have Cloud Sire with Shadow Machamp and Clefable. Obviously that Clefable can be replaced with another fairy type. Maybe Azu uh, could work out well. Uh, Machamp obviously could be replaced with Pango if you wanted to. Um, uh, or maybe even Dunsplash, right? Not a fighting type, but you could probably go Dunsplash as well. Um, and then we have uh, Amanda Buzz, Double Water, so for Alligator and Gastrodon. Of course, the back line, not really going to like grass types, even though Feraligator has play against the grass types uh, because of Ice Beam, which is pretty wild. But Gastrodon does not. Uh, and then uh, Mandibuzz does really well against grass types. Uh, and then we have another team. We have Double... Uh, well, we have Cloudsire and Carbink on the team. Uh, and then Feraligator in the lead. So back line, not really going to appreciate, you know, ground types, obviously, right? But the Feraligator going to be doing well against them. Uh, and then we have double rollout users with Azu in the lead. So fighting types going to be doing well against the backline, but Azu is a fairy type, so it's resisting fighting type moves. Again, you could go with another fairy type should you choose to. Um, and you, instead of Licka Licky, if you want something else, you could replace Licka Licky with a different Pokemon. Um, doesn't have to be a rollout user. I mean, it could be. Uh, it could be a Mud Slap user. It could be something else, like Mawak maybe. Um, and then we have another team, Mawak. Registeel, again, could, could be another... Uh, Pokemon over Registeel if you don't feel comfortable with Registeel this season. And then we have Jump Pluff. Malamut is a Pokemon I've seen a lot as well as Jump Pluff. I've seen both of these Pokemon a lot this season and I've used them a lot this season as well. And then we have Double Mud Slap users as the final team, Gastrodon and Marowak. And I put Mandibuzz in the lead. Now the back line, not going to appreciate flying types like Jump Pluff or Mandibuzz. Um, so this team in general, I would say, does struggle to a Mandibuzz, because your best response to a Mandibuzz is your own Mandibuzz, right? Um, so something to keep in mind. 
Um, but uh, the back line doesn't like grass types either, so Mandibuzz will do well against grass types. So just some teams um, I came up with. So let me know what you think, and let me know if you're going to be playing the Great Ultra Mass League. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.